When being asked to subtract larger numbers, it can be quite hard to do this in your head. For example, if I asked you what 984 minus 152 was, it would be difficult to just do it without a pen and paper or a calculator. The way to make this easier is to write out the first number in the question, and then put the second number in the question, the number being subtracted, beneath it. Like in addition, it is very important for the units, tens and hundreds columns to line up. Once we have written it out, we then simply go through each column starting with the units on the right and subtract them. So 4 minus 2 is 2, 8 minus 5 is 3, and 9 minus 1 is 8. So we get the answer of 832. Now let's look at a slightly trickier calculation. If we have 1,376 minus 985, again we lay it out as per the previous example, and then we start with 6 minus 5, which gives us 1. You'll notice that when it comes to subtracting 8 from 7, we would get a negative number, and the calculation won't work. To fix this, we need to borrow from the hundreds column. This means we take 1 from the 3 in the hundreds column, leaving a 2, and put the 1 in front of the 7, giving us 17. We can now take the 8 from 17, which gives us 9. We now have the same problem with 2 minus 9. So again, we take 1 from the next column to give us 12, and leave a 0 in the thousands column. 12 minus 9 gives us 3. And given that we now have zero left in the thousands column, we have our final answer of 391.